did it. We we did it. We actually beat Kotaku. We did it. We beat the boss. It has been confirmed from Natalie Lawhead, from her sister, that the article that Cecilia D'Anastasio wrote about her has been removed from the Kotaku website. I just want to say thank you to my community who helped in aiding basically the takedown of this article. And I want to say a big thank you to Natalie's audience, to her community for also aiding in the takedown of this article. I sat for about 20 minutes to half an hour really trying to think of like how I want to do this video. And I just want to do it simply, you know, I just want to be able to say thank you to my community. Thank you guys for pitching in, for sending emails to not only Kotaku, but Geo Media, to people who are journalists at Kotaku. I've been sending messages to my, you know, on my own time trying to see if I can get this taken down and it worked. We all came together as a community and got the article removed. I made a fresh one, especially for this occasion. Natalie, you did it. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of everyone in this community. I am proud of Natalie's community. I am proud of people who saw this in the Kotoku community and knew something was up, knew something was wrong, and decided to take action and do something about it. It's a win for all of us today. And just a little bit of a disclaimer, I may be doing this video right now, but this article was actually taken down a few days ago. So it's already been taken down for a hot minute. I just haven't been able to do a video about this until now. <laughs> a year and a half. A year and a half of trying to get Kotoku's attention and it finally paid off. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> so yeah, that was the video. Um, I know this was a short, simple, to the point video, but I wanted to make it that way so you guys understand just how, man, <laughs> just how happy I am about this. Uh, again, thank you guys. Thank you guys for helping me in getting this article removed. Again, thank you to Natalie's community. And just thank you in general to Natalie and her sister Tanya for just being in my life. It humbles me every single day to know them, seriously. Um, if you guys do not know about the situation and you're coming onto my channel for the first time and you're just like, oh, what, what, what is she talking about? Uh, there will be links provided down in the description below so you can educate yourself, so you can update yourself on everything that is going on. I wrote a piece uh, back in December of last year in regards to the situation, and I'm going to be writing an update piece on the success and community and what happens whenever you come together and good against evil always triumphs. I know it's so cheesy to say, but it's so f***ing true. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day, night, wherever you are in the world. And if you all like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell down below because I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. And always, by the way, if you guys see something shady going on in the community, see it at someone else's expense, talk about it, report it. Just don't let survivors hanging, okay? You know, the thing is, is that karma always works in very mysterious ways. So it'll be interesting to see what happened to the people who wrote Natalie Lawhead's article. I'd be very interested to see what happens. I've even had journalists who, uh, well, let's just say there were a lot of journalists who ended up blocking me because they didn't agree with my stance or they didn't even know me. And I, was supporting a friend and they just blocked me. So that shows how much certain people want to shut others up. That's all I'm going to say on that. But yeah, stay casually nerdy, you guys, and I will see you all in the next video, which will be on Wednesday for my review of Undertale. Bye, you guys.